Welcome to Store 012 in Recovery's Bowling World. I'm Patrick Martinez. This is a new vlog series, so I hope you guys enjoy this. going to be doing this vlog series every week uh, today I got a couple balls that I need to drill as well as a couple balls that I need to resurface so we're gonna do all that today we also have a bunch of plug bowling balls that I am planning on prepping up so let's get going all right so we plugged all these yesterday these are all hardened up we have to go ahead and pull these all to the front of the shop get them cut down if we need to get them cut down this one right here just needs to get two finger holes drilled and then we have to back draw a thumb hole so we're gonna do that, so let's get to it. So, real quick, we're in Kennedy, Louisiana, right here, Kennedy, Louisiana. If you have ever been to New Orleans, it's like the smaller city connected to New Orleans. So if you've never been to Kenner, make sure you guys stop by. We're at AMF All-Star Lanes. Uh, if you had any more questions about me, make sure you leave it down below in the comment section. Ask any questions you have. Like for example, I'm on Columbia 300 staff if you haven't noticed already. I'm also on Vice staff and I have been bowling for about six or seven years. I've been doing this business for about roughly the same amount of time. So let's get into this. Enjoy this little bit of time lapse as I cut down all these volume balls and get them ready to get resurfaced and whatnot. over this and also fill these into the broom. Uh, I don't have to really actually worry about the color match on these two fingers because it's not going to fill over the hole it's just going to fill to the rim of the hole and then this one we're just going to go with the brownish black that we have right here. So we're going to grab some magenta first. I'm going to start that off as the base. We're just gonna stir this up. We wanna make sure we keep nice circular motions all the way throughout. The magenta kind of overtook a lot of this, but as we keep stirring it, it gets darker and darker. We wanna make sure that there's no separation between the resin and the hardener. So you can see it's still kind of silky smooth. Uh, this color is a little bit still too actually magenta-y. So I'm gonna grab this brown color and just drop a couple drops in here real quick. This should be plenty to change the color from that reddish that you could see initially to this darker chocolatey brown, like almost like a dark chocolate. And that's what we wanna see right there. Some, maybe throw in some black. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and pour it in. And for these, again, we're just gonna go right here. Very, very carefully, we're gonna aim for that hole. We're just gonna again fill it all the way up to right there. Make sure we have enough of the lip of the actual bowling ball. We have a little bit of a drop drop on the ball. And go all the way up to that part of the finger and boom. So today we're gonna do actually some TikTok videos. If you guys didn't know, I actually have a TikTok page. It's this one right here, the Pantrick on TikTok. 
where I talk about the latest releases from Brunswick and Ebonite and Hammer and all of them, as well as just talk about technical stuff, whether it's ball descriptions, their RG, the differentials, any new products like bag shoes or any kind of accessories. I have people that ask me questions on there. So if you want to give me a follow right there, go ahead. And again, we're going to do some TikTok filming. So I have my ring light out. And yeah, we're going to get to filming that right now. You want something for this? Perfect. One sec. You can go with a T-Zone, a Maxim, or a white dot. Now the good thing about this is that all these right here are actually $54.99 undrilled. So if you wanted one of these and you just wanted the ball itself, you can get it online at bowlingworld.biz right here. And again, you can cop one for $54.99 or maybe even cheaper. A lot of them have gone down in prices. They fluctuate throughout the year. So keep an eye on that and make sure you're grabbing it whenever it's best. Or if you have one of our store locations near you, you can do this. Every single one of our store locations runs this starter set package, which is a ball, bag, and shoe combo. It comes with a T-Zone, a Maxim, or a white dot. You can also do a $40 shoe and a $30 bag. All you gotta do is go to bowlingworld.biz to be able to find a store near you, if you have one near you, obviously. And again, you get one of these, and one of those, and one of those. Look at the value that you're getting. Thanks for your question, hope this helps. Alright, so we got done with all the TikTok filming for the day. So now we're waiting on league to start up. We have a, probably a 20 or 25 lane league right here. Uh, they come every Tuesday, they start at 6.30. And hopefully we see some new people come in. Welcome back. It is Thursday today. Uh, we didn't get any footage on Wednesday. Wednesday was kind of quiet, uh, but slowly we'll get more people on camera when it comes to leagues and all that. By the way, in the comments below, what is your like get me up drink that you get whenever you're in a long shift at work or if you're a bowler and you're bowling, you know, practice for several hours in a row? What is your get me up drink? For me, ice caramel macchiato from Duncan. Uh, I don't think there is a single day in the shop that goes by that I don't have a Duncan coffee sitting in here. But we should see another league tonight. It's actually one of the bigger leagues that is a single league. It's run by Susan Pemberman, who is the league coordinator of the building. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, I need to do some reorganizing in here as well. So I'm going to try to do that today and let's just get going. Alrighty, here's another thing that we deal with. Every single week we have at least one or two of these where it's a uh, damaged ball. They got damaged whenever you throw the ball down the lane. It's not anything that you should be 100% worried about, but it's good to know that this can happen. So we have a couple nicks here that we need to clean up. Uh, those will resurface out pretty well and easy. Uh, but then we have this guy right here that actually dug into the surface of the bowling ball a little bit more. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a half inch drill bit. I'm gonna drill that piece out and then I'm gonna fill it in with some clear resin. And then we're gonna let it harden overnight and then we'll fix this up for the customer, make it look almost brand new. So, here we go. Again, we just went ahead and cut out a nice little slit for us to fill in with resin. That way it's deep enough so the resin actually can sit in there properly and attach properly. And then it'll look almost brand new once we're done resurfacing it, obviously. And yeah. And just so you guys know, if you ever have a ball that's damaged whenever you're throwing it down the lane, go to your front counter as soon as that happens. Most of the time it's something that they can fix immediately when it comes to the actual lane side of it. And your bowling ball can get fixed, especially if you're in a location where you have a McCorvey's Bowling World. We have an agreement with every one of our bowling centers that if a ball gets damaged, we will fix it for the bowling center, free of cost to the customer. If you wanna know what store locations we have, go to bowlingworld.biz, go to store locator, and then just figure out if you have a location in your area.
third day at the shop on a Thursday. Again, that was the biggest league that we host at the Ball Line Center. Uh, now I'm gonna get some TLC, probably play a couple video games. Uh, I used to play with you. I told you what it costs. Alright, Bowling World fans. Uh, so today we gotta make a deposit. So I'm at the bank right now. Once we do this, they give us a deposit slip, and then I go to the post office and I mail out all my receipts to our home office in Huntsville, Alabama, where our lovely June Taylor takes care of all these. So once this is mailed to her and she receives it all, she goes through everything, makes sure everything is good, and then submits everything and takes care of all the money. Sundays are important because in the morning here at nine o'clock in the morning. There's at least 40 teams bowling from 9 a.m. to about 12.30 on Sundays. Let's remind ourselves that not a lot of people bowl on Sundays outside of tournaments. So we're gonna take a quick look at the actual league that's going on. And then we're gonna close out the day with a few bowling balls to drill. I have somebody coming in to get some balls drilled and also a lesson that I do later. So let's go take a look at the league and then get into the day. Once again, that amount of leagues on a Sunday is absolutely crazy. Like, tell me if your leagues on Sundays are that packed. Like, that is 40 lanes of all league bowlers. 40. All right, Bowling World fans. So that is the conclusion to our week. If you have any suggestions on what you would like to see in these vlogs, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll be personally reading them. Ryan, who's editing this video, is gonna personally be reading those. Again, welcome to the week in a pro shop operator's life. Hope to see you next time. Peace.